out for the train. mind doing us a huge favor and to turn that stupid podcast down we are trying to sleep no i'm humiliated for what reason exactly do you people have to know everything mr fat chimp has been getting a lot of mail saying oh no thomas made his very first accident pulling his very first express train was he deserved to become the total character? People make mistakes. And besides, it could have been worse. Could have been worse, hey? I made a complete fool out of myself by leaving a whole train of coaches behind with actual people in them. How could it possibly be worse? Oh, well, I can think of plenty. Oh, great, I now see where this is going. It's a little thing I like to call... Don't. Big world. Stop. Big. If you say one more word, I swear with Bruno Croft as my witness, I'll... Adventures. Ah! On your pogo stick, your pogo stick, your pogo stick Hop on your pogo stick and hop right through the day You just had to take this conversation to the next level, oh, didn't don't you? be mad with me, I was saying the truth and boy, oh boy, do I feel sorry for Edward and Henry once It's they- midnight, we are trying to sleep. Which conversation did you drag yourselves into now? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, yeah. Uh, nothing, yeah. Yeah, that's what we totally all the time meant to say or think in this What he means to say is, you both get replaced in big world, big adventures. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Just, just think of the children. All right, I know you're upset, but just stop with the chatter, chat. I've got a big day with a very large train tomorrow. Just, just, what is it with you and your stupid train? I don't know. What is it with you and your stupid continuous movie reviews, eh? <laughs> Speaking of... Don't do it. This reminds me of the time I made a movie review on Spy Kids 3. I want to go home right now. Just please. Every time. All right, we're getting off topic here. Why did Mr. Fat Rooster choose you for these big trains anyway? Oh, look at the time. <laughs> the night after. I won't de do what a crowd this is. I might as well give you company then, hey, tomboy? Hey, that's not my name. Who cares? Boy, am I in for a treat tonight or what? Wait a minute, what happened to your Big Mac business? Oh, it's not dead at all. KFC just ran a special and I was first in line. What's your problem? Gordon gets to pull his trains while I'm just stuck there pushing stupid coaches. His suggestion, I meant to take some trucks home tomorrow. Maybe you can take them instead of me. Not a bad idea at all. You know, I, I might as well just take one if that's all right. <laughs> Good night then. Can me and Edward switch jobs? Yes. Hmm, that easy, eh? Alright, I shall do such things then. Well, then he just went with his iconic eye roll. Anyways, well, and it was back on topic. The troublesome trucks are silly and noisy. They can be a nuisance, and Thomas can be a troublesome truck's worst nightmare. Hey, watch it. I have boundaries. Right. You don't understand how many times we've been shoved like that. Well, I don't care. See what I mean? I thought if I'm singing my unnamed tune for some apparent reason Which I don't really know if there's a reason for anyone anyway. Oh, anyways, when are we leaving now? Patience, Thomas! I just got to blow my whistle and then you'll be out of here! Um, I really hate to break it to you, I really do, but that's not a wi- I'm broke, alright? Don't judge! Right. Well, Trucks, I am your leader for today, therefore there shall be no lookout for that train nonsense or nothing. Oh, we'll give him nonsense, all right? Yeah, yeah give him lots of time. Okay, Mr. Guy, you can blow your so-called whistle now. It's been Hold a non- a second. Does Mr. Fat Drumstick XL know that you and Edward are switching jobs? Highly doubt it. I'd say he's spending his time eating his daily 50-meter macaroni sub. 
but you know, it can't be worse than the time he signed up for that eating competition. Alright, where's the line around here? What, hello? Anyone? Um... Oh, bad time. I'll... I'll set myself out now. Now I'm gonna blow your flag All on- Alright, I'm blowing the flag. Sheesh. Alright, it's gonna be fun. At least I think it will be. Hey, go faster. No, 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 let's talking more following world trip time. Lighty, 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 lighty. Anyways, all that aside, Thomas began going faster and faster as he whooshed through Henry's tunnel. That place should have had a statue of Henry by now. As Thomas continued to go faster, you know, he kind of broke the speed limit, but he didn't care. No one went after him or anything like that. Anyways, Thomas slowed down as he came to Gordon's Hill. I mean, I don't know if he slowed down because of the side effects, or maybe he just had to. I mean, who knows? Alright guys, I'm gonna mimic Gordon to pay you guys b- Look out for the train. Yeah. Chaka 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 Oh, I don't think so, mate. And then after about one to two seconds, Thomas started regretting all of it. Oh, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, that's a bit too fast. I'm warning you, if you don't stop now, you're going to get in serious, I don't know. Wait, stop, too fast. Oh, oh, great, there's a stage, just... There's a station right over here! Hey, what? I'm turning! I'm turning! Oh, I went for a big one! How original! Mm. Okay, so that happened. Yeah. Is my Nintendo Switch okay? I yes, my Nintendo Switch is okay. Alright, okay, that's a relief. You people are lucky I don't have to report this to Mr. Fatso! Oh, I wonder who that is! Thomas, why are you here? I need answers. I can explain everything and oh, 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 I see you haven't got rid of Wendy yet. Just don't mention it, please. I'm a banana! You forgot to return to that goat barn, haven't you? I went, but apparently... All the goats moved! Oh, that explains everything. Anyways, what are you playing at over here? You might want to grab some popcorn because it's a long one. Me and Ed would switch jobs and the trucks ended up pushing me down the hill because apparently I gave them a rough time. Tell me about it. I've been pushed apart like that for the past 700 decades. Insert exaggeration here. Anyways, you might want to be more careful with these trucks next time. No one warned me about it. And besides, it can't be worse than the time we had. Oh, Thomas, up. I'm gonna have to leave you there. You're just trying to make up excuses to make yet another cutaway now. Come on, I haven't made a cutaway in a while. Play. <sighs> Fine. Yay, cutaway time! Anyways, it can't be worse than the time I invited everyone to watch Sesame Street for my 70th anniversary. Alright guys, grab your popcorn, it's gonna be a long one! Oh, dude, this isn't Sesame Street, this is Balmore! Shush, 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 my favourite part's starting! Ah, uh, dude, this is just a black screen. <laughs> right. Well, Thomas, I want you to take your trucks back to where you found them. Um, excuse me, no can do, that's about a thousand miles! Do it, or Wendy will find you! Alright, alright, sheesh, I'm going, alright, I'm going! Wow, wow, I knew, I, I, I always thought Wendy was stupid, but she's, she, but she's all, she's, she's sticking the mud. Alright, right, hop to, hop to, alright, just, just keep on moving, I don't want any of your, I don't want any of your consequences, alright, just please, just, just stop, stop please, just go, just go, 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 go. Oh, I broke down. Great. Peanut butter chocolate flavor.